Too often, when people retire, they have an abundance of cash available and they spend it. They buy a new car, give their children money, go on a sea cruise, etc. A few years later, faced with rising expenses, inflation and a static or decreasing income, they experience financial difficulties. Winston Churchill once said that living too long is one of life's greatest dangers, but why must this be so? Why does retirement income so often not last? When you mature a retirement fund, such as a pension or an RA fund, then you are allowed to take one third of the amount you have in the fund as a lump sum, and the other two thirds has to be placed into an annuity to provide you with a regular pension income. A living annuity is a popular product in which to invest the two thirds amount, as in theory, it will provide income virtually forever. There are no guarantees and the monthly income paid out may start decreasing after a stage, but some income will always be available in theory. This is because legislation decrees that you may draw only a certain percentage of the capital. Let's have a look at how this works and discuss how we can possibly get more income for a longer period out of a drawdown annuity like a living annuity. This is the new drawdown annuity calculator screen. If we click on the costs button at the bottom left hand corner, we can set up costs and commissions. I've entered a management fee and an annual dividend, but you can change these default amounts if you wish. You can see the minimum and maximum percentage of capital that can be drawn. When calculating income drawn shown in the amortization table, the program will adjust the income requested using these limits. In our example, we show a scenario where our client, Joe Bloggs, retired and matured his RA. The total amount in the RA was 3 million rand, and Joe can take one third or one million as a lump sum and Joe has elected to place the remaining two-thirds or two million rand into a living annuity. The laws surrounding lump sums are complex, but assuming that this is the only lump sum that Joe has taken, then the first 500,000 rand of the one million rand lump sum is tax-free, and the remaining 500,000 will be taxed as per tiered retirement tax tables. In the 2018 tax year, the tax on the balance of the lump sum would be 117,000, by the way, but Joe Bloggs will still have 883,000 of the lump sum after tax. Let's examine the balance of 2 million invested in the living annuity. Joe says that he wants to draw 15,000 Rand a month, escalating at 7% per annum to keep pace with inflation, and we expect the portfolio to grow at around 10% per annum. The income drawn from the 2 million placed into the annuity is fully taxable. Joe would like to see what his cash flow looks like over a 40 year term. If we click on the amortization button at the bottom, we can see our income starting at 15,000 Rand a month in year one and increasing every year by the 7% we asked for. After year nine, in our example, our income has reached the stage where the income we require is now 17.5% of the capital. We are now drawing 17.5% of capital that is growing at 10%. And if we scroll down further, we can see that the situation gets worse. The annuity will continue to pay out income, but the actual income amount decreases rapidly. Instead of an income that increases every year, our income now decreases every year. What can we do to ensure that we get the money we want for a longer period? Joe Bloggs may decide to take a lump sum of only 500,000 Rand tax-free and invest it somewhere. If the 500,000 Rand investment could cause a tax problem, then maybe he could invest it in his wife's name. Joe could then place 2.5 million into the annuity.
The amortization now shows that the required inflation linked income would be available for 15 years instead of 9 years, that is for another 6 years. I want you to note that our income required in year 6 is 21,000 Rand. Another option for Joe is to take a reduced income from the annuity for the first few years, supplementing this reduced income with withdrawals from the 500,000 tax-free lump sum he invested. Here we see we have elected to take an initial reduced amount of only 5,300 Rand a month, escalating at 7% a year for the first five years and then draw the 21,000 Rand a month from year six, escalating at 7%. If we click on the amortization button, we can see that although we asked for a 7% escalation in income for the first five years, the program is giving us more. Drawing less money means our capital grows at a higher rate and we have to draw a minimum of 2.5% of capital. This means the income we draw is 8 point something percent more than we drew the previous year. In year 6, you can see we are back to drawing the 21,000, which is what we would have required in year 6 if we'd started with an initial 15,000 Rand income in year 1, remember? Scrolling down the screen, we can see that we continue to receive our required inflation-linked income right up until year 22, and that is for an extra 13 years more than double the term we looked at initially.